from spring fashion trends to spring hair trends, Sal has rounded up the styles and shapes you'll be seeing on the streets and on your feeds this season. Hey, Sal, glad you could join us. And we're going to be talking about... Hi, Trick. Hey, your first trend, which is the curtain bang. So explain what that is and, yes. and why it's hot. The curtain bang right off the bat is... It offers all the same benefits that a, that a regular bang does in terms of accentuating certain features such as your cheekbones, your eyes, and really kind of opening up your face and, and wearing something really fresh in front. But it doesn't, it doesn't give you that same commitment feeling that straight across bangs tend to do. So a curtain bang is essentially, it can be as short as you want it, but the, but the idea behind it is that it's not straight across. Right, so it flows over to the side, covers the eyes, the cheekbone, but no longer than the jaw because then it just kind of turns into a shorter layer as opposed to a curtain bang. The grow out with a curtain bang is seamless and you can enjoy it throughout the whole sort of process. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to talk about curls now and I should have gotten you to introduce your model to us right off the top. Who are you with, Sal? I am with my sister-in-law, Christine, who we've been fortunate to be able to help each other. Uh, six kids between two families, the extra hands were definitely needed. <laughs> Great, okay. So I was going to say, that is not your wife, but I think that that's lovely. No, no. You get access to another head of hair. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about curls. I do. Uh, you're going to show us two types of curls. So the first type of curl that we're going to do is it's what you're seeing all over social media, Instagram, and walking out of the salon all the time. It's your basic, beautiful beach wave curl that doesn't necessarily puff up and give you too much body but kind of stays lower trendy with a lot of texture. Irons to use on this particular curl tend to be bigger irons or even a flat iron if you're good with it. So I'm going to show you how to do two pieces on this side where I've already done some of them. So when I grab this curl here I'm going to want to grab a section that's a little bit bigger okay a little bit bigger because you're not really focusing on creating a lot of bend in the hair you just want to get a nice little wave in the hair and you just want to walk your iron through slide it through as you go through each one of the sections okay and then the biggest trick is once you get to the bottom you kind of just want to pull it down like that as opposed to creating curl along the bottom because the whole idea here is to keep it trendy and weighted at the bottom so it stays a bit longer looking it's basically curls but you maintain your length I'm gonna do one more for you I'm gonna go into that big chunky section again I'm gonna wrap it around I'm gonna come out because I'm not focusing on the root the, the, the focus is from mid shaft to end and then once I get to that bottom, I'm going to pull that straight, which keeps it trendy, long, textured, and really modern. So you're going to see a lot of these this spring, summer. They've been trending for a while, but especially in the summer months, you're going to see a lot more of this kind of stuff right here. You shake this up, you put hairspray and texture spray, and you're good to go with this particular curl right here. That looks lovely. So a bigger barrel curling iron and don't curl down the tips. You want to keep that length while you get the curl from the mid shaft down. Now the other side, you're going to show us uh, a different kind of curl on Christine. This kind of curl here is when you want to achieve a bit more pop in the hair. Wand or curling iron only, not a flat iron. I would come into the hair and I twist it around the barrel. Okay. The trick is as I get to the top of the barrel, I give the hair a little bit of a twist and then I wrap it around. So then once I get to the bottom, I guess you hold it for a second so that it cools, but I keep that end out again. It's a lot, this is the small detail that a lot of people don't realize brings your curl from looking like a flower girl curl right. to a curl that's modern <laughs> and cool and trendy. Okay, so I'm going to do one more for you on this side as well. So as you can see, I'm grabbing a section of hair, not necessarily as big as I did on the other side there. I'm going to go under that hair and I'm going to wrap, twist as I get to the top and so on and so forth until I get to the bottom. But I'm going to leave out that last inch and a bit of hair. So I'm going to hold that till it cools just like I did before. The longer the better at times. Just make sure if your hair is sensitized or processed, you keep that in mind with the heat of your iron as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop that down. And then there's this little, you know, I, I shouldn't even be sharing this. This is a hairstylist trick. That little <laughs> pull right here that helps open it up and it gives you a fabulous face frame. But as you can see, it definitely gives you a bit more body in the actual look as opposed to the one that's a bit looser, yeah. a bit trendier. This one could be a little more glammed up. Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm not even surprised at the last trend because it just keeps coming back. And you know what? I'm not even mad at it. The mullet. The mullet's going to be hot this spring. Do tell. <laughs> you know, I, I'll tell you something. I'm actually excited that it's coming back, right? Like it's, 
Yeah. I'm not saying you got to go out and, and, and get a, get your whole Tiger King on, right? Like, I'm not <laughs> saying that you need to, you need, everyone should have a mullet, right? Definitely not. But I am saying that it's a fun haircut. It's versatile. It works with all hair textures. And moving into spring, summer, it's definitely wash and wear. But with that being said, I'm still going to use it as an inspiration launch point, right? Yeah. You can definitely take pieces of this, of this look to, if you want to be on trend and try something a little edgier, move into that mullet direction. Maybe call it moule so it sounds a little cooler. I'm right with you. I want a moule. I, anything edgy, I am about. <laughs> do it. Do the moule. Thank you, Sal. Absolutely. That was great. Thanks, Christine. Thank